Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. We're going to be doing a simple, fast install of the Emergency Uniform Pack 9.3. But most importantly, a lot of people keep asking me the question, how do you get backup to respond with the proper uniforms? We're going to cover that in today's tutorial. We're going to go through this pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, let's hop on over to the internet real fast. There's a couple of things I want to show you. Uh, we're going to be downloading the EP menu. So we're going to go ahead and download that and get it onto our desktop. Uh, we're going to go to the Emergency Uniform Pack Serve and Rescue 1.5. So we're going to download this. Now, there's one thing I want to tell you about is they do have an LML package installer. I would not get this one. Get this one right here at the very bottom. It's going to be an OIV file. It is going to be a single file. So when you download this, it's just going to be one file. There's no zip file with this one. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the next one, which is the Emergency Uniform Pack Law and Order 9.3.1. So we're going to go ahead and download this. It's exactly the same way as Serve and Rescue. Uh, make sure that you get the OIV. Now the file is misnamed. I want to kind of point that out. It says 8.3. Just realize that this is a mistype by Alex Ashfold. It is supposed to be 9.3 right there. It is a 9.3. I can confirm that. So we're going to download that one as well. Now next, we're going to download the EUP backup configuration files for 9.3. This is by Joe Wilson. He did a great job. And we're going to go ahead and download this one right here and get that onto our desktop as well. Last but not least, we're gonna download the latest Rage Native UI. Now, as of making this video, this is the latest one released in December, but just realize this will get updated and the links will all be provided down in the description. So they will all be up to, up to date. And you don't have to worry about making sure that you have the correct links. So we're gonna download this zip file right here. Okay, we have all files on the desktop right now. We're gonna pull up our main game directory. So we have the EEP menu. We're gonna go ahead and install that one first. So when you open this, it's a zip file. And then you're going to see some files right here. You're going to see a plugins folder and you're going to see a Rage Native UI that is out of date. So this Rage Native UI, I'm not sure why the modder uh, made such a great plugin and then just refuses to update his Rage Native UI, but to each their own. Uh, make sure you do not install this one. It will crash your game. So I'm telling you that right now, it will crash your game. So don't install this, but take the plugins folder. It's going to get merged in with this one over here due to Windows merging system. So we're going to take the plugins folder. You're going to drag it down here uh, into your main game directory. Don't drag it in any folder. Just go ahead and just let it fall. And we're going to go ahead and let it merge. And if it didn't, uh, and you'll see it right here, it's merged into the plugins folder. So the EP menu is done uh, as far as that goes. However, uh, we do need to install the latest Rage Native UI. So when you open up the Rage Native UI, you're going to see two files right here. So this is always going to be the latest one. The link is going to be provided. And even if you think you have it, uh, go ahead and make sure that you replace it anyway, uh, just in case you have an outdated one. So go ahead and drag these two files. It's the DLL and the Rage Native UI XML. We're going to drag it right into your main game directory down here. And then uh, since I already have it, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it anyway. And then that part is done. Okay, once you've installed the EEP menu, what we're going to do next is make sure that inside your main game directory that you have a mods folder. So I already have a copy of one right there, but I'm going to make a new one. And just in case you're kind of new to this, so we're going to go to new, make a new folder, and we're going to call it mods, M-O-D-S, just like this. What you want to do next is pull up OpenIV. So if you're not very familiar with OpenIV, look to the top right of your screen. There's a small video that kind of gets you more familiar with OpenIV. So once you get it open, uh, just do a real quick ch uh, check up here at the very top of the menu where it says tools. I uh, go to ASI manager and just make sure these are all in green. So if yours is in blue, for example, that means you need to make sure that your ASI managers are installed. So just make sure these are all in green and then you can kind of close that out. You don't have to do that every time. Just make sure you do that uh, if, if you just installed OpenIV. So this is a very important note. If you don't install them in the correct order, it may not show in game. So my advice is to grab the uh, EUP law and order. And now, like I said before, uh, it's a little typo from the, the actual author of the mod. It says 8.3, but just be reassured that this is actually 9.3 of the emergency uniform pack. So make sure you grab the law and order first. Uh, that's imperative. Otherwise, the uh, server and rescue will not work, uh, will not show in game for some reason. So make sure you grab the law and order first. And you, what you want to do is make sure Edit Mode is on and then grab this entire OIV file that is on your desktop. And it may look like a blank document like it is right now. And that's perfectly fine. You can see right there it says OIV. You're going to drag this right inside OpenIV with Edit Mode on and it will get installed in the correct order and the correct pathway. So you just click on install and you just click on mods folder and then you just click on install. It takes a couple of seconds and then that way you'll install uh, law and order. Now, once again, this is not 8.3, this is 9.3. 
And then once that gets successfully installed, go ahead and close it out. So if you try to tra uh, check the law, and, uh, I'm sorry, the serve and rescue 1.5, and you try to drag it over immediately, uh, you might get a red circle with a line through it. It happens to me all the time to figure out why it's doing that with edit modes on. What you want to do next is just click anywhere inside open IV. I usually just click right here at the top once. See right here, just click one time and you'll probably notice that this will turn blue. And that way you're inside it. Technically it's a Windows uh, issue. I'm not sure why it does that. It happens with Windows 10 as well. And I'm on Windows 11. So now you want to take the file that is selected right here. That is the serve and rescue a 1.5 edition and then drag it right into open IV. And it's going to be the same process as the law and order. And then also just note that this is actually supposed to be 1.5 that's actually mentioned right here. It's just a typo that the modder did. And you're just going to click on install. And make sure it goes to the mods folder. And you're going to click on install. And then you're going to close it out. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this file right here. It's called uh, Emergency Uniform Pack uh, Configuration 9.3. Now it is a RAR file. So you will need to have WinRAR or 7-Zip installed onto your PC. Now those are free on the internet. Just type in WinRAR for free or 7-Zip free download and you'll be able to open this file right here. Your computer naturally, if you don't have that installed, it will not be able to open this file. So just kind of be aware of that. You'll need to download that. So when we open this file up right here, this RAR file, you'll see EP backup configuration. So it's 9.3. We're gonna click on modification files and you're gonna see EP law and order 9.3 and server and rescue 1.5. So we have the original version, which uh, we're gonna probably install today. However, they have these other ones if you wanna experiment maybe later on, if you are not comfortable with those, or if you just really wanna make sure that they respond when, in a certain way, like BS, uh, BCSO vintage version. I probably wouldn't install that to be honest, uh, but this one here is your backup would show up with basically a green taser instead of um, a different color taser. But I think for the majority of you, I think we're probably gonna end up uh, picking the original version anyway. And when you open this file, you're gonna see a standard. You're gonna see one with no hats, uh, one with body cameras, plus no hats, and one with body cameras. So if you are comfortable with this, uh, you can come back and experiment later on and just replace the files with what I'm about to show you uh, with the ones that are in these folders. They're the same, uh, same file types, but they're uh, just modified differently. So for now, we're gonna leave off body cameras for now, but if you wanna come back, you could always do that. We're gonna to go to standard first, and we're gonna open this one. And you'll see that you're gonna have three other versions. So they have one for snow, one for rain, and one for normal. Now it kinda of, uh, goes without saying, if you want your backup to show up with more, you know, snow gear, uh, heavier jackets, then you would wanna use the snow one. If you are planning on doing maybe a rain patrol, then you could always uh, you know, select that one and your backup should show up with rain gear. You know, hopefully that makes sense. If you're uh, not sure what you want to do, you just want to install something normal, uh, you know, especially if you just don't want to hassle with this, then I would install the normal version. So for now, we're going to go ahead and go to the normal. You'll notice that it's going to pull up a Grant the Auto 5 folder because the author of the mod is going to navigate you to the proper pathway. So we're going to go to Grant the Auto 5 and we're going to see, uh, you'll see two folders right here. You're going to see a plugins folder and an LSPDFR folder. So if you look in your main game directory right here, you'll see that you have a plugins folder and you'll have a LSPDFR folder in lower caps. So let's go ahead and do the LSPDFR folder first. When you open this, you're gonna see a data. So we're gonna go over here to the left. We're gonna click on LSPDFR and you're gonna see a data folder right there. You probably wanna have a copy. That's something I did earlier. So we're gonna click on data and we're gonna click on date over here to the right. So you're gonna see a custom you're going to see stations, regions, outfits, and the, and the list goes on. So if you look close, you already have these in here. So you're going to take the entire contents that you have right here in the RAR file. And remember, this is the data folder. We're going to drag it and replace whatever's over here. But first, before you do that, you may want to consider doing what I did, is make a copy of your data folder, just in case something goes wrong, in case you're not happy, and you want to go back to the previous version. So we're going to go ahead and leave it like this, but we're going to go back to the data and once again, drag all these files and just drag over here and it's gonna ask to replace. And we're gonna say yes. And now we're gonna back this up right here. You can see a little arrow key to the right. We're gonna back it up again. And then we're gonna get to the plugins folder. Okay, let's install this plugins folder. Now it's important to note that you will need to have ultimate backup installed into your game. If you're not familiar with ultimate backup, you're probably gonna have to just uh, go and download that. And by the way, I have a website down in my description. Feel free to visit the website 
uh, just type in ultimate backup you'll find it. it's pretty easy to install uh, you just drag and drop files into here and then uh, once again you'll probably need to replace that rage native ui but i digress that's another video probably whenever i need to do an updated tutorial on how to install ultimate backup but i'm sure you guys if you're watching this video you probably already have ultimate backup installed uh, but speaking of ultimate backup guys it's pretty important if you go to your plugins folder uh, you're going to see your ep menu right there uh, you're going to make sure you want to make a copy of that uh, just in case you're not happy with the preset outfits uh, that comes with this uh, you know the ultimate backup configuration so you could just make a copy of that folder and then also if you go into lspdfr uh, by the way i took out all my mods just so you can watch the tutorial easier uh, you're going to want to probably make a copy of this folder right here ultimate backup just in case you're not happy with the uniforms you know if you've already uh, modified your uniforms and your jurisdictions and all these other things and you already kind of know what you're doing uh, don't mess your files up by replacing these things just to see what they look like so uh, i would make a copy of that and just have it down here the game cannot see a copy anyway so i just wanted to point that out just in case you know you're not happy with any of this stuff uh, you have a backup version of that so let's go ahead and go into the plugins folder once again uh, in case you're new to all this we're going to drag the plugins folder right down here and i'm okay with this replacing these files because uh, this is just a tutorial so i already have my other files on backup so we're going to go ahead and just replace so let's go ahead and dive into the plugins folder i'm going to show you where everything landed so let's go to the plugins folder you're going to see your ap menu and you're going to see a preset outfit that uh, just got replaced uh, by the ultimate backup configuration file and then also if you go into your lspd fire folder it's in upper caps uh, it's going to be right here if you click on this you're going to see your ultimate backup folder and you're going to see your dll and i and i so if you dive into the ultimate backup folder uh, this is where those files ended up right here so that's why i was saying it's imperative that you probably make a copy of that folder just in case you've already modified a few things because uh, i'd hate to really mess some things up for you by just doing a tutorial like this and then you come back and post in the comments that it screwed your game up you know so just make sure you make a backup copy of that and then you should be all set at that point uh, because those files just got replaced and then uh, you're also going to have the ep menu and so let's go ahead and talk about that right now and we're going to reduce this and i'm going to show you what to do with the ep menu now since eup menu is a standalone plugin you can tell the rage hook how to load it properly you know you can either have rage hook load it or you can load it yourself in game so i'm gonna go ahead and fire up my rage hook i'm gonna hold down my shift key and i'm just gonna keep holding it down uh if you get a little message like this which is kind of a good thing uh it's something kind of new they're doing in the last year with rage plugin hook uh, it's asking if you want rage plugin hook to unblock these files and you'll notice right here it says plugins eup menu and then also the rage native ui so always click on yes to unblock those files so when you get to the rage menu uh, obviously make sure this is 60,000 right here by the way in case you're new to all this it allows your system to load more efficiently if you go to plugins right here inside your rage uh, menu you're going to see eup menu is not checked off uh, whenever you you load into the game uh, eup menu will already be ready for you but if you want to uncheck everything and just say you know don't load anything on startup i'm going to load it myself when you're in the game and i'll show you how to do that it's pretty easy uh, or you could say load all plugins to start up if you've got a bunch of plugins you could do that if you feel comfortable but just realize it's a lot it's pretty taxing on rage hook to load all of your plugins so you can probably take my advice and only either check the things that you intend to use on that patrol or you could just uh, leave everything unchecked and then just load it inside the game i think it works a little bit more efficiently allows you to get into the game first and then you can load it yourself so for now, I'm going to go ahead and say don't load anything on startup and just load into the game and I'm going to load it myself. But once again, if you want to have Redshift do it for you, if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and say load these plugins on startup and then click on save and launch. But I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it. We're going to go ahead and save and launch the game and I'm going to show you what the uniforms look like. Okay, I just Harry Potter my ass back over here just so it's a little bit more quiet away from the city. So remember, I chose um, on my end that I didn't want Rage Hook to load anything on startup. Now, you may choose to do the same thing. That way you can get into the game. Totally up to you. If you want to have Rage Hook load the EEP menu for you, if you know you're going to be using it, which more than likely you will, you can click on the thing I mentioned earlier uh, to allow Rage Hook to load this for you. So if you press your F11 key, it may already have the menu already loaded in. But if you're like me and you like to kind of load things yourself, uh, you can press your F4 key. And start typing in load plugin and type in eup you'll notice that it's right there in the uh, tab to the left uh, the upper left hand of the screen now the reason why you can see that is because eup menu 
is a standalone plugin. It does not require you to be on duty in order to use EUP, which is the emergency uniform pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and press my tab key. I'm gonna press my enter key. And even though I have a fast PC, it does take a couple of seconds to load this particular plugin. The other ones may load a little bit faster, but this one for some reason loads to take a couple of seconds to load in. So right now I'm still not on duty. It doesn't really matter, but this is more for demonstration purposes. And I'm gonna go ahead and press my F11 key now. So if for some reason, if you try to load your EUP menu and you get a crash, either you did not update your Rage native UI that I mentioned earlier. So make sure you have the latest Rage native UI. It's imperative. Otherwise the Rage menu, I'm sorry, the EUP menu will not work. So make sure that you, you've done that because a lot of times these modders will include these Rage native UIs that are outdated. And a good example of that is the Stop the Ped and Ultimate Backup, CompuLite. Uh, these all require you know Rage native UIs that are out of date that's inside that those downloads. So don't rely on the modder to have an updated one for you. I already provided the link that's up to date, so make sure you replace the one that you have in there. So that could be one reason. So now we're uh, into the game. You'll notice that the uh, law and orders there, the serve and rescue is there. Uh, but once again, if you install the serve and rescue before the law and order, uh, and then the law and order second, uh, this will show up as gray. It'll be grayed out. So make sure you go back and rewatch that part of the video where we uh, install the law and order first. So if you go to the law and order and you click on this, you can go to different bran branches of LSPD, but they do look rather crisp. And I do apologize, my graphics probably look like crap right now, because remember, I I'm using a blank mods folder, so there is no graphics mod installed at this very moment. So there's jackets in here, really nice ones. There's a nice coat right there, I like that one. And then there's a raincoat. That's kind of cool, I like that actually. Yeah, there's a nice raincoat there. Uh, there's a polo, kind of looks like my 5M server. And you can take your, uh, you know, the hat on and off through the wardrobe if you feel like it. Jacket too, if it's raining, you know, things like that. There's some pretty nice ones here. I like it, but I really like this. This is I'm digging these SAHB, pretty cool. I like it. So this is the uh, 9.3, and uh, I must say that the raincoats look actually better than the 9.5. To be honest with you, the riot gear, task force, SWAT. Here's BCSO, kind of speaks for itself. Jacket two, coat, coat two. Yeah, real nice. Agent, task force, DOA. It's pretty cool. I like that DOA. Nice, uh, kind of like a leather jacket, right? Task force. I think the uh, LSIA, that's the Los Angeles International Airport, has some really, really nice uniforms. Really, I, I love these things. I like how dark they are and the patches look really nice. They even have a polo. There's a raincoat for LSIA. Uh, here's a really good one. It's uh, Rockford Hills Police Department. I really love the uh, the way the patches look. Look really nice. I think they better look better than the LSPD personally. Quick pro tip, if you have the radio in the middle of your chest, which most of the time that will be by default, if you want to get it in the, uh, the upper left-hand corner, above your badge, uh, press your backspace key, go to wardrobe, and then go to uh, create outfit. And then you can name it whatever you like, uh, radio left. And then what you wanna do is go up, uh, just kind of arrow up, go to armor, and then uh, move it to the left. It's uh, 14, you can see how it goes from uh, 15 to 14. Uh, 14 will put it right there on your shoulder. And once you're done, you know, just make sure you save it and you should see it under wardrobe now. Okay, here's a little test. I went ahead and uh, forced duty. We're on duty right now, technically. I took all the peds and all the cars out of the game, uh, just so you guys can hear me a little bit better. That's why I look so desolate right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and press my ultimate backup key. And then we're just gonna get a local patrol out here. So it's gonna be default cars, so I apologize. But this is what's responding out of here in this jurisdiction at the moment, which may be park ranger. So don't let that worry you. You know, if depending on what jurisdiction you're in, so this is Grand Sonora Desert, okay? So this is what's responding out here. And that is a, looks like a park ranger. So she's got a good uniform on. Okay, now remember we're out here in Sandy, Sandy Shores. So this is who's gonna respond out here. Uh, Blaine County may be responding out here. Okay, so this is Blaine County in this area right here. But we're gonna go ahead and release him and we're gonna go ahead and teleport over to Palato area. I'm gonna show you what they look like there. So this is Blaine County uh, on this sector, uh, sector of the map. It really depends on the default regions and the jurisdictions uh, that uh, without me going too complicated as to uh, how to modify that, that would require a very detailed tutorial. So I probably will not do that at uh, any anytime soon, to be honest, because uh, most people on YouTube would get bored by that. And if we teleport just a little bit more south, uh, you know, there near the forest, 
And it looks like the, uh, yeah, it looks like they're definitely park ranger for sure. And in this case, uh, even though it's uh, just a code two backup, uh, the two of them came that time. So we're gonna go ahead and dismiss them. Let's do a few more parts of the map. How about Zancudo? I'm gonna see what that looks like. Uh, you can always teleport over here and do a military type patrol, but I am curious to see what kind of local patrol shows up here. But uh, just as I thought, they'd probably be military police. So this is what the military police would look like right there. So that is the that is the military police right there. If you look around your map, you'll notice there's a lot more icons on here that you could probably use as a police station if you really wanted to. Okay, here we are inside the airport. You can see right there, LSA, Santos International Airport Police. Now they're using LSPD uh, cars, obviously, because we don't have anything modified inside the mods folder. Uh, my mods folder is very blank. It's just for the tutorial, so kind of bear with the default cars, okay? And they should be uh, responding with the uniforms similar to mine. On this particular ultimate backup config, uh, he's got it as uh, Los Entos Metro Police. So those uniforms are available for you. You see right here, he's got the same thing. A little drop-down holsters and things. So Los Entos Metro Police are going to be spawning near Mission Row. And it'll be right down here, LSPD. It'll be uh, Metro Class B. Class C, for example, right there. So now you can, you know, look like the units that are spawning around this area right here. Let's see what SWAT looks like when they come in. That is definitely ultimate backup config right there. Okay, we are near uh, Del Perro Beach. So this would be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and change our uniform real quick here. Let's go ahead and call in ultimate backup, see what they look like. Okay, now they should be responding out of here with uh, Del Perro uniforms, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Yeah, they look like they're in Del Perro uniforms, same as me. Oh, actually, you know what? We remember we uh, saved that one, right? There we go. That's Rockford Hills Police Department. Remember we put the uh, microphone on the left shoulder. Showed you how to do that. See how it's grabbing the chest. Press your M key. Go to police radio. You can change it to shoulder right there. Chest or shoulder. Looks real nice and crisp, man. Let's try it out. Let's go to weather. I will make it uh, really cold. We'll make it snowing. We'll make it a blizzard. Why not? Let's see if they come with jackets. Okay, well, I just learned something new, guys. So even without the ultimate backup config, I think the snow version, now that I think about it, I think the snow version of the ultimate backup config, they probably have like certain types of uh, big hats, you know, like the uh, a buoy hat or something like that. I forget what they call those, like a parka hat. You know what I'm talking about? The big flaps and stuff like that. That's probably what they would look like. So I uh, tell you what, let's make it rain. <laughs> let's make it rain, boys. I try not to make this tutorial too long, but I am curious. Let's see if they show up with the rain gear. So depending on the weather, the game uh, will check to see what kind of weather forecast it is and what they look, what the weather's doing currently is how the ultimate backup will respond. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Now remember, this is no graphics mod. This is all uh, default. So which actually the game doesn't look too bad, right? Okay, let's go down to the highway. Okay, now we are, if you look at the bottom of the screen there, I'm using player location display. By the way, I have a video about that. PLD, if you look that up. You'll see this is Interstate 1, Grand Sonora Desert, Blaine County. So let's go ahead and call for backup here. I have a feeling if I do local, uh, it's going to be probably Park Ranger or something like that. Yeah, it's going to be a Park Ranger out here is what it's going to be. Just remember, this is the jurisdiction that is set up. And, and look, it's bright and sunny out here. And this is who's responding out here is the Park Ranger Division. But if you do this, if you uh, type go to Ultimate Backup, and you go to state patrol unit this is the top of uniform that he should show up in and that's the police force slot that is um, the default vehicles okay so i don't want you to think that my vehicles look like this i took out my mods folder and this is what they look like yeah so this is what they would look like for uh highway patrol uh, with the ultimate backup config you remember you have access to other things that you can call for backup so if you press your u key and you were to go down here, for example, uh, Air, S-A-H-P, SWAT Backup. Let's take a look at that. That is the uh, SWAT department there for the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Okay, I've never done this before. This is something different. Uh, bicycle Patrol. So if you're doing a Bicycle Patrol, guys, look at this. This is who would show up right here. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this. That's a Del Perro Bicycle Patrol right there. That is so cool. I like that. I like, I get excited about new things. I haven't, I haven't uh, used that. Pretty cool. I love her outfit too, by the way. I'm just saying. Later. Okay, let's kind of go through this a little bit faster. We'll do border patrol. 
And uh, how about we do down here? We do um, Bobcat security. <laughs> Why not? Uh, do they have a Coast Guard SWAT? What? I did not know that. How about dirt bike patrol? <laughs> and then uh, for good measure, let's just do a supervisor. Yeah, let's do that. I do a supervisor, guys. Okay, so this is border patrol. I called them first. Look at this. Oh, that is weird. Look, the Bobcat security is showing up in a snow covered riot vehicle. What? I have to look and see. What does that say in there? Oh, Bobcat security. Yeah. That's very strange. Oh, there's a there's a dirt bike patrol, guys. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, that's my supervisor right there. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have any rank stripes because Raid Trip tends to break those rank stripes. You cannot have rank stripes or decals on your sleeve. However, if you look to the top right of your video, there is a fix for that. So if you want to get the rank stripes on your sleeve to look like a sergeant, you know, a lieutenant, corporal, whatever, and I'll show you how to fix that. But this is what the marshals look like. Really nice. I love that. Oh, that looks sick. Love that. So uh, anyways, guys, we're going to head on out of here. And I hope you got some use out of today's video. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for helping me push over that 100,000 mark. Uh, you guys are awesome. But the Patreons and the YouTube members, uh, your names are floating across the screen because that is who is active right at this very moment. So uh, thank you guys so much for all the, the patronage and the YouTube membership. You guys are awesome. You guys take care. We'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.